exploring Kitakami Island in the Pokemon Horizons anime, Story and Theories. Kitakami Island has become a major setting in Pokemon Horizons, and it offers a unique blend of folklore, ancient history, and new Pokemon encounters. While the island first appeared in Pokemon Scarlet Violet, the Teal Mask DLC, its depiction in the anime adds new layers to the mystery and excitement. Today, we'll compare the anime's portrayal of the island to the game, and also dive into some of the theories that are circulating about Kitakami in both mediums. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome Pokemon content. Now, let's jump into this exciting new territory. Kitakami Island in the Pokemon Horizons anime. In the anime, Kitakami Island is presented as a place full of ancient traditions and mysteries. The rising Volt Tacklers, Liko, Roy, Dot, and their Pokemon arrive on the island to investigate, only to find themselves drawn into the island's local customs and deep-rooted folklore. The Kitakami Festival is the centerpiece of the island's culture, filled with vibrant colors, lively music, and unique Pokemon sightings. One of the most exciting introductions in the anime is Karmai, a character from the game who has been brought to life with all her fiery rivalry. Just like in the Teal Mask DLC, she becomes a key rival for the main characters, particularly in her competitive spirit with Frida. The anime takes Carmine's personality further by showing her ongoing battle with Frida to establish dominance in Pokemon battles. At the same time, Kitakami Island in the anime hints at something more ancient. The new opening sequence shows F Professor Briar standing near Crystal Lake, which could be tied to the ancient story of Lucius and the Titan Pokemon. It seems that Kitakami holds secrets not just about its local legends, but about the greater mysteries of the world of Pokemon. Kitakami Island in Pokemon Scarlet Violet, the Teal Mask. In the Teal Mask DLC, Kitakami Island is described as a place rich in ancient folklore. The game introduces the concept of the Ogre Clan and Ogre Pond, a Pokemon surrounded by myth. Players explore the island with Carmine and her brother Kieran, uncovering the truth about the local legends and discovering more about the island's past. The game's version of Kitakami is more focused on the myths tied to the masked Pokemon, and players get a chance to explore this through interactions with both Carmine and Kieran. The island is filled with mysterious locations and hints of a rich history that goes back centuries. Comparison between the anime and game depictions. While the core setting of Kitakami Island remains consistent between the anime and game, there are a few key differences that stand out. One, Carmine's role. In both the game and the anime, Carmine serves as a rival. However, the anime explores her relationship with the other main characters more deeply particularly with Frida. The anime adds layers to her character, making her more than just a guide for the island's mysteries, but also a serious competitor. Two, Kieran's absence. Interestingly, Kieran, Carmine's younger brother and a major character in the Teal Mask DLC, has yet to appear in the anime. It's possible that the anime is saving his introduction for a more significant moment or storyline. Some fans theorize that Kieran's love for the island's folklore could tie into the anime's larger mystery about Lucius and the Titan Pokemon. 3. Lucius and Kitakami's Legends The anime's focus on Lucius and the Titan Pokemon adds a new layer to the Kitakami Island storyline. In the game, there's no direct mention of Lucius, but the anime seems to be blending the island's folklore with the overarching narrative of Lucius's ancient journey. Could Lucius have had a deeper connection to Ogrepan and other Pokémon in Kitakami? 4. Pokémon Involvement In the anime, we've already seen the introduction of Terrapagos and the Titan Pokémon. The game focuses more on Ogrepan and the Loyal Three. It's possible that the anime will eventually link these Pokémon together, revealing more about how Lucius and the Titans are tied to the ancient history of Kitakami Island theories about Kitakami Island in the anime. There are already a few interesting theories circulating about the anime's version of Kitakami Island. 1. Lucius's Journey One popular theory is that Lucius himself once traveled to Kitakami Island and encountered some of the legendary Pokémon there, such as Ogrepan. 
the anime might reveal that Lucius was the first to interact with these Pokémon, and that his relationship with the Titan Pokémon is tied to Kitakami's ancient myths. 2. Kieran's Possible Role Since Kieran hasn't appeared yet, there's speculation that his introduction will be tied to the Rising Volt Tackler's deeper exploration of Kitakami's past. One major theory is that Kieran might discover Terrapagos or play a role in unlocking its hidden powers. Given his fascination with Kitakami's folklore and legendary Pokémon in the game, it's possible that he could become an ally or rival to Liko and her team, especially when it comes to controlling Terrapagos potential abilities. Conclusion What's next for Kitakami Island in Pokémon Horizons? As the Pokémon Horizons anime continues, we can expect more twists and revelations about Kitakami Island. Whether it's through deeper exploration of Lucius's legacy, the introduction of Kirin, or the unraveling of ancient mysteries tied to the Titan Pokémon, Kitakami will surely play a crucial role in the story going forward. The anime's approach to blending Kitakami's folklore with the larger narrative of Terrapagos and Lucius is creating some truly exciting theories. Could Ogre Pan and the Loyal Three hold the key to unlocking more about the ancient Pokémon world? Only time will tell. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Pokemon Horizons.